Jennifer Moon, and I'm an artist. I also brought my dog, Mr. Snuggles. Here, my yeah. tail. Mr. Snuggles, you want to say hi? Hi. This is Mr. Snuggles. <laughs> he, he's, uh, he, he is part, he makes it into my art a lot. And then see, this is Mr. Snuggles right here. <laughs> <laughs> so here's, so that's a photo of Mr. Snuggles. This one, I made little action figures of me and Mr. Snuggles. Can you see? Oh, wow, look at that. So there's, there's and both me. of you, uh -huh. both of you has wings. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna we are gonna jump off that cliff and we're gonna fly. <laughs> so that that's Whoa. it. And it was part of this. See, it was inside the egg. This egg. Wow. Oh, favorite material is I think relationships or emotions. I know that sounds like, I'm thinking like maybe when people say materials, they're thinking about like, like materials, like, maybe like, like performance, like photography, your, yeah. you know, like I do use a lot of photography, but like my, and, 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 um, I work with a lot of other artists. So like my friend, um, my friend Patrick Connor, he does a lot of my photography, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, like, so like Barnacle Brothers made this sculpture, um, but I do a lot of performance art too, um, so so in terms of like materials that I produce work in, it's generally yes like sculptures, photography. I also do a lot of writing, um, and um, yeah. But I feel like the material is also also like the material that I use to make art. And in that sense, it doesn't have to be like a physical, it doesn't have to be like a physical material. It could be things like emotions, like I use emotions a lot, or like something like vulnerability. Like I use that a lot as material for work. Um, you know, beliefs and ideas, those are materials as well. But I really like that question because it's like, can you be tangible and intangible material? Mm -hmm. I think mostly my relationships with people and like feelings, like the feelings that I get um, in terms of how I relate to people are really inspiring, even though sometimes those feelings aren't very, you know, pleasant feelings, <laughs> but they can lead to, you know, making art from it. Yes, I experience, yeah, like I think sadness is a really strong emotion that can sometimes be very hard to feel. And what I love about art is that I can take that emotion and I can create something from it. So that emotion doesn't just like, it, do, it doesn't just sit inside of me and like, and I feel, you know, sometimes if I, if a, an emotion doesn't have an outlet, like if I can't do something with it, sometimes it gets sit inside of me and then I feel like it's overwhelming or consuming me um, because I don't really understand it. And I think what art has helped me with is it's helped me to understand my emotions because my emotions like sadness or anger or jealousy or, you know, what's some other uncomfortable ones? Uh, I guess sad, you know, uh, those are pretty good ones, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes, like, if I don't know where they're coming from, so art helps me to, like, be able to sit with them and then kind of, like, identify where it's coming from, usually from, like, a belief that I'm having. Mm -hmm. um, and then I can take that and create something with it so that it's generative and so then I can get it out of myself. Um, and it, I, I think art's, like, really great for that. Okay, the secret is that I have a lot of faith. Like, faith meaning like, like I have a lot of trust and faith in life, in my relationship to life. So, you know, um, the, I feel like the, the more I focus on like, my faith and trust, the, 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 the more that art comes to me because I feel like like as an artist that like the ideas aren't coming from me but like I'm like a, like a conduit or like a vessel 
where ideas come through me. And so my only job is to kind of remain open um, and trust that, um, trust in my connection to the world so, so that the more that I trust and the more I have faith, and when I say faith, I mean like knowing, um, knowing that no matter what, like everything's going to be okay, like no matter what. Um, so then if I, if I focus on that, then like ideas come to me, which are coming from, you know, like either like some kind of higher source or from the world or the universe. And then I'm a conduit and I receive the idea and then I can create something from it. So I think that is like my ultimate secret um, in my art making. <laughs>